Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have the nice exponential equation which is in the form of 4 to the power of n plus 6 to the power of n is equals to 9 to the power of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rewrite this equation as and now we can first divide each of the side by 4 to the power of n so when you can divide each side by 4 to the power of n then you will get here the output in this form and now you can see that these two terms are gone and here you will get 1 plus minus sorry uh, 1 plus now we can combine the exponent of these two terms and you, we will write it as 6 over 4 and its whole exponent n is equals to similarly we will again combine the exponent of these two terms and you will write it as 9 over 4 and its whole power n so now we will change this nice quadratic nice exponential equation uh, in to the quadratic form so now first I can uh, simplify the terms and here you have 1 plus you will cancel these two terms and you see that uh, we will we know that 3 2 3 is a 6 and 2 2 is a 4 so here you get 3 over 2 and its whole power n is equals to here we write this 9 as 3 square over 4 as 2 square and its whole power n and now we can apply here the nice exponential laws here so that you will get uh, 1 plus minus 1 plus 3 over 2 and its whole power n is equals to here you will combine the exponent of 3 square over 2 square and you will write it as 3 over 2 square and its whole power n and in the next step we can apply here the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n or it is again equals to a to the power of n to the power of m so this means that if you will interchange these two exponents then it cannot be affected our final answer so now we can interchange the exponent of the right hand side and we will write this equation as 1 plus 3 over 2 its power n is equals to 3 over 2 and its power n and its whole square here I can just interchange these two exponents and we will write in this form and now uh, in the next step we will convert this nice equation uh, into the quadratic form so that here uh, we will just take uh, y is equals to 3 over 2 and its whole power n so when you can put here y is equals to 3 over 2 its whole power n and then this equation will be written uh, in the form of 1 plus y is equals to here you put this value is y so its whole square will become y square and now we move all the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side so that this equation will be rewritten in the form of y squared minus y minus 1 is equals to 0 and now we can solve this nice quadratic equation by applying the nice quadratic formula so that you know about the quadratic formula we have y is equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 times of a c and its whole square root over 2 times of a and here you see that the values of a b and c uh, in this equation are here you have a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c is equals to minus 1 so now we put the values of a b and c in this nice quadratic formula so that you will get the output in the form of here you have minus b when you can put the value of b here 
then you will get minus times of minus 1 plus minus minus 1 whole square and minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and its whole square root over 2 times of a is 1 so now in the next step we can rearrange the terms as 1 plus minus here you have 1 square and 1 square is 1 and this minus time of minus is plus and 4 ones are 4 and its whole square root over 2 so uh, here we have y is equals to uh, we can simplify this terms and you will get here 1 plus minus 1 plus 4 is 5 square root over 2 so now we can back substitute the value of y and in the start of the problem we will take y is equals to 3 over 2 to the power of n so now first I can break this equation in two parts 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and it's second case is we take y is equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 and you will put the values of y here and you get 3 over 2 and its whole power n is equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 and here you see that uh, the left hand side be the exponential function and you know about exponential function it always gives the positive value and its right hand side gives the negative value so it cannot be possible and uh, positive value is equals to negative or it cannot be possible and exponential function is equals to some negative value so that we will reject it this case because it is not possible so that we will just proceed here this case only so in this case uh, we will put the value of y and you get 3 over 2 and its whole power n is equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and now we will take the log on both of the sides and you will get here n times of log 3 over 2 here I can take the log and apply the property of logarithm so that you will move this exponent in the front of this log and this is equals to log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2 so uh, this is the uh, and here you can apply log on both of the side and you will get the output in this form and now we move this log 3 over 2 in the right hand side and you will get here n is equals to because here log 3 over 2 multiplied by n when we move in the right hand side it is divided by this whole term and you will write log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2 divided by log 3 over 2 and now you can uh, use the calculator in order to find the values of this log and you will easily check that this n is approximately is equals to 1.868 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos